I just got the Direct Antennas Clear Stream 4 off of Amazon. The Direct Antennas Clear Stream 4 is an indoor and outdoor antenna with 70 plus mile range. So here's a look at the front of the box. Here's a look at the side of the box. Similar picture on the other side of the box with a lifetime warranty. It's full HD and 4K ready and it is a multi-direction antenna. Here's the front of the box, very similar to the back of the box. Here's the back of the box. So let's open it up. There's a helpline to help you out with the antenna installation. So let's open it up. Here's a little notification to rescan for different frequencies because a thousand TV stations are changing frequencies between 2018 and 2020. Here's the instructions to put the antenna together. More instructions how to attach to the mount and to completely put the antenna together. And there's an advertisement for Cozy TV. It comes with two circular antenna elements. It says Antenna Direct. It's got two screws on the back. Here's the combiner bar with 75 ohms transmitter. Here we got the crossbar. Here's the other antenna. Here's a package of bolts and clamps to put everything together. Here's the mass base to remove the cardboard. Here's an antenna base and the other antenna base. Here's the mast for the antenna. To give approximate size, we're working with 21 inches with inside this box. Got 17 and a half inch reflector. All right, everything's out of the box, let's put it together. I'm gonna to attach the base to the center of the reflector. The lines match up here with the bigger area and the smaller area. So all the lines are matched up and we just push it on there. Snap into place and we're good to go. Let's line our other reflector and base up and snap it in there. Now that one's all set. Okay, the next step is to attach the crossbar to the reflectors. So let's get our bolts out. Just take everything out of there. So here we got our two one and three eighths bolts right here. So let's attach the reflector to the crossbar. All right, let's flip the reflector over. Put the crossbar on top. All right, let's add the one and three eighths bolt to the bottom hole and to the other bottom hole. Let's tighten the screws up. Tighten the other screw up. All right, our bottom screws are tight and secure. Next, we need to attach the antenna element using the three and a half inch bolt. So I'll just put both antenna elements on the bottom there and then put in the bolt. All right, that's screwed in. Put the other bolt and the other element. Okay, both elements are attached. Oh, here we have both elements attached. All right, next we're gonna take the U-bolt, put it in the mass plate. Slide that through, take the big plate, put it on the other side. The slightly smaller plate, put that on the other side of that. And we're going to attach the wing nuts. Attach the other wing nut. Let's do the same for the bottom now. Slide that through. Place the large plate on. Put the small plate on. Attach the wing nut. Let's attach the other wing nut. Next up, I'm going to attach the combined bars to the antenna elements. Slide it in. Connect to the screws or the bolts. And then we're going to attach the small wing nuts. So I'm going to loosely put on this wing nut and the other bottom wing nut and the other top wing nut. So now I have all wing nuts loosely attached. Tight enough to hold, but not too tight. Next up, we're going to take the mast and attach it to the base by using the hex bolts. So we got two holes on the mast right here. Then we have a hole for one bolt and then the sliding hole for the other bolt. So just line that up and put your bolt through. And attach the nut to the other side. We attach the nut to the other side there. Same thing for the other hole. Put your bolt through. And then just attach your nut to the other side there. You can move it where you want it to be and then tighten it up later. We can tighten these bolts up with a 10 millimeter wrench. And get that nice and tight so it stays in place. 
Now we can mount our antenna. I'm going to loosen up the wing nuts to get the mass through. So get the wing nuts loosened up just enough so you can get the mass through. Now we got the mass through, we can tighten up our wing nuts. And tighten up the bottom wing nuts. All right, now we got the mass attached to the antenna. Then we put on the mast end cap, and now we can mount the antenna. All right, safety first, here's the safety harness. Before we put the antenna on the roof. Okay, I'm going up the ladder. Put the antenna on the roof. Got my safety harness and my safety rope attached. I'm climbing to the ledge of the roof. Once I'm at the top, we're going to adjust the rope so I have just enough slack to get to where we're going to place the antenna. Now I'm going to navigate over to the satellite dish. Instead of using a mount that came with the antenna, I'll be using the satellite mount. So I will remove the satellite and then attach the antenna to the mount that's already attached to the roof. Since we're using the existing mount, I'm just going to loosen up the wing nuts right here on the antenna and then attach the antenna to the mount. Now the antenna is securely attached to the mount on top of the roof and the cable is attached to the antenna. I'll attach the other end of the cable to the TV in the house and we'll test it out. There's one last close up at the antenna. It's turned to point to the farthest tower. Although it is a 360 antenna, so it should get good reception. In it. All right, I have the antenna plugged into the back of my TV. It's a 1080p TV. Here's channel three, uh, CBS coming in, full signal. Comes in really good, as you can see. Let's check another CBS. This is a mystery channel, comes in pretty good. Let's check another channel, still on channel three. So we got another, we have laugh channel here. Got another channel here. We got channel eight. It's, that's weak in my area, but this is ABC. It's still coming in nice and clear. Got eight two, which is bounce. And we got channel 19 one, Telemundo. Overall, 58 channels are coming in. We got Exitos. Very strong signal here, very clear picture. We got WCC TV coming in. Got Court TV. Got Comet TV. Got Stadium TV. Got a couple channels that aren't coming through. So it picks uh, TV picked up a, a very weak signal, so it still adds them, but no picture for them. So we got another mystery channel, mystery TV. We got Connecticut Public Television here. Look at a very clear picture. Got PBS Kids. We got Spirit, got Ion TV, Cubo TV, Ion Plus, some Christmas movies there, got Shopping Net, the Shop Network. QVC, got HSN, got NBC, channel 30, great picture on all the channels, got Cozy TV, as advertised in the box, got NBC LX, Got another channel here. Got another channel, Get TV. Got 
another channel here. Got Cheddar TV. Got another shopping channel. Got no broadcast on that station. And we got WTXX TV, WTSX2, WTXX3. So this is just hooked up directly to the TV right now. W me TV. Not start TV. Movies. So we get a lot of channels coming through here. Got decades. Got another ABC, ABC 40. Got Fox HD. Court TV. Got another channel here, another shopping channel. Sun Life. Got a public Bridgeport, New York City channel. Got Connecticut Public Television. Got me and I, Grit TV. Watch your classics. We have Fox 61 HD. We got Antenna TV. Uh, TBD. Crime Network. Spirit TV. PBS Kids. Connecticut Public Television again. And we're back to the start with CBS. Now I have the TV hooked to the Amazon Fire TV DVR. We have our channel guide here. And you can record shows on the DVR, of course. And so I'll be showing this off in another video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.